Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Barb Mitchell, coming to you from Data Cloud Global Congress 2021. Joining me today, I'm pleased to uh, present to you Dennis Chan, AVP of OTT and ICT, as well as Marcelo Brescia, Manager for OTT and Edge Ecosystems uh, International Business. Both uh, of these gentlemen are from HGC Global Communications. Thank you so much, Dennis and Marcelo, for joining us. Welcome to JSA TV. Thanks Hello. for having us. Hello, everyone. Thank you. Yeah, and so I just I wanted to start with a question for you, Dennis. Uh, specifically, HGC aims to create a game-changing business ecosystem for global OTTs, ISPs, and edge platforms. And it aims also to bring the best end user experience to customers with the next gen edge infrastructure. So could you please just start for us by elaborating more on the collaboration strategy, supporting OTT's fast scaling up globalization and new Southeast Asia market penetration? Sure, sure. So, uh, you know, FGC is working for uh, like the OTT company, so-called internet company for like more than 15 years already. So uh, in the new uh, technology like 5G or like the AI or machine learning, you always have to uh, create an ecosystem to have the edge, to build the edge, to support the end user, the new use case, right? From HGC point of view, we are always helping the OTT company to how to corroboration for the local so-called the uh, eyeball and also the how to help them to build the edge system, including data center or a cloud solution in different location. So our strategy is uh, we need to move uh, ahead of the trend, right? Especially in Southeast Asia, the population is so young. So we can see that, uh, especially for OTT, when they're moving in the 5G environment, they need to have a lot of new low latency use case. For example, cloud gaming, right? That kind of things. You need to be have very fast access from the mobile device to the uh, cloud. And then the latency is talking about like uh, 15 milliseconds, right? So what we can do is uh, we are already working with multiple uh, overseas, especially in Southeast Asia for different MNO and ISP to cooperation with them to connect it all the eyeball in a single location with ultra low latency. And then once OTT, they want to penetrate in the market, they just need to plug and play their service or their servers in our edge platform. Immediately, they can start to sell their services. So this is what uh, we, we always want to move ahead of the market, especially uh, when uh, OTT need us, we can step in immediately. Marcelo, I'm wondering if you could maybe expand on a couple of things that, that, that Dennis touched on around specifically, you know, sectors like gaming, uh, you know, um, that are so rapidly growing, you know, at such a fast pace, gaming, VR, esports. How does HGC's en edge infrastructure boost the latency sensitive use cases for these types of industries? Yes, thanks for this question. So to uh, foster this kind of application. And as, as Danny said, in Asia, we have uh, such a huge and uh, young population that they are accessing to this kind of uh, uh, gaming uh, experiences. In fact, we talk about digital experiences of the users of the eyeballs. AGC is uh, upgrading the infrastructure and the uh, network to uh, make sure that uh, the latency, first of all, is lower. And of course, when there is gaming, um, like it can be a tournament of esports or, or even simple a gamer who's uh, uh, is behind the screen, you know, and is, is fully immersed in that experience, the, the network cannot be down. So there are very um, uh, high level SLA to, um, you know, to respect, to comply with. And uh, our expertise is that even if we, have, we are based, our, our HQ is in Hong Kong, we have a local personnel in all the major uh, countries. In fact, we have 23 offices overseas. 
and these uh, these um, colleagues or colleagues they help us to uh, build this ecosystem to make sure that the network is stable, the latency is lower, and of course the uh, the, the relationship that we have with the last mile uh, operator is, is is well well maintained and everything uh, up and smooth on the operational side. And besides that, we are looking. I mean, this year uh, and also actually started from last year. We see uh, the emerging uh, world of the metaverse. So the metaverse is the virtual uh, a virtual world where the user, the any activities the users take in this uh, uh, in this virtual world have consequences in the real world. So in the past, we we also did a webinar with Aglet, which is um, uh, an, a gaming uh, uh, application that. Um, it's called the Pokemon Go of the sneakers. So you can uh, log in into a hub and, and join this uh, virtual reality world. And the you you can actually it's retail gaming and uh, it's virtual reality, all in the same platform. So that's what is the trend we are seeing, and we are working to make sure that this happens uh, soon and fast. Hmm. Interesting. I'm curious too, what, what role the telco's edge plays in the edge computing ecosystem? Dennis, maybe you can, um, maybe you can take this question and, and, you know, further to that, will in-country network densification be the trend or, or are there others? Yeah, thank you. So uh, maybe I can uh, remind a little bit, um, even though for before this edge terminology coming out, we have been helping um, the OTT company to be able to overseas, we, at that time we call it pop, right? Overseas pop of uh, pop. So basically edge is not something uh, totally new for us. We work on it for more than 10, 15 years ago. So for the new edge coming in, so our role is we are always uh, doing, as I say, always ahead of the market, right? Um, we want to step in a little bit. In the past, we do a lot of infrastructure, equipments, racks, connectivities, IP transit, eyeball, GPL, that kind of things, right? But in the edge, we are aimed to work with the uh, hyperscale company to build up a more uh, sophisticated, so-called the uh, vertical, right? For example, for the uh, use case for gaming, can we build up a uh, edge cloud gaming server? There's uh, the gaming company moving in, they can immediately utilize our services. This is what we want to play in a more deep role in terms of the edge ecosystem. And um, in terms of the in-country, uh, it's a very good question. You know, FGC, we're headquartered in Hong Kong, but actually we are a US company, right? You know that. And actually we are heavily investing so-called in the in-country, a lot of local resources outside Hong Kong. I can't tell the detailed investment plan, but we are one of the heavy investment in overseas, especially Southeast Asia, um, no matter for the network and also for the data center, we are expanding extremely fast. And then this is the key uh, for the OTT to be up the edge because without the in-country, local network data center resources, the edge cannot be built without that ingredients. So interesting. And yeah, it's uh, interesting to hear all of those uh, connections uh, that you have. And and I'm, I'm curious also, I mean, we've talked so much about gaming. It, you know, it's great to hear how well established you are in supporting that industry, that sector. I'm, Wondering, Marcelo, if you could tell us a bit. I know that I understand that you have a one-stop solution to support gaming companies uh, with their new, uh, you know, as they're penetrating new markets and considering things like network, data center, cloud, et cetera. Could you talk a little bit about that? Yes, thanks, Mark. So, uh, yeah, as you said, the one-stop shop solution that we provide is, uh, in a few words, really putting together all the bits and pieces to make sure that the best solution is delivered to customer, right? Um, as as, as uh, Dennis mentioned, uh, we heard now for uh, several years the word edge and what is about putting the uh, power, processing power near to the users. Yes, correct. 
but who's behind that to harmonize everything, right? So we um, we talk with the data center operator, with the cloud, with the CDN, um, to to make sure that the customers are the right are the right solution to save the capex and focus on the opex and the market penetration. So the the advantage that we have is that being Asian, uh, mostly Asian folks, because we have network spanning all over the world, allows these companies that lack of expertise regionally. To, uh, to, to come here in Asia and find a trust partner to go uh, to uh, the market. And at the same time, we see from the, the supply side, so for example, for data centers, they also want to diversify their uh, clientele base uh, in, in their, for example, data centers. So we, we uh, spend all days talking with several uh, players in the ecosystem and uh, really uh, putting all the uh, tools together to deliver the best solution. So we can say that we are like, we position ourselves as a, a system integrator into uh, this kind of uh, uh, ecosystem. And no matter the size of the company, it can be startup. Sometimes we speak with startups that are emerging during the pandemic, like uh, gym, uh, virtual gym, uh, that they are like, you know, very few employees that have great ideas. We're always willing to talk to them all the way to uh, big internet giants that even if they have um, you know, strong resources, they still need a partner to go to the market in country and you know, to comply with the regulations and all the paperwork. Well, thank you so much. This has been so interesting. I really appreciate you, you know, taking the time with us today to, to talk through some of these things. And for any of our viewers who may want to learn more or connect with you, where can they, where can they go? Oh. <laughs> I think uh, the best uh, location they can search for this edge information is go to hgc.com.hk. And then uh, if you are even more uh, information, you can talk to us, just click inside the uh, marketing material and then you can email and contact us. And then myself and myself is more than happy to share more with you how we help the gaming company OTT to build up the edge solution in overseas. Fantastic. So hgc.com slash hk. And uh, of course, uh, Dennis and Marcelo here are willing and able and ready to talk to any and all of you who want to reach out. So thank you so much. Thank you, uh, gentlemen, for joining us. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA podcasts. Happy networking. Yeah.